You should see the lineups on your screen tonight, hopefully. Lineup for the home team, I know you do for the Foothillers. If you don't see it for the home team, lineup for, the, for them with uh, Charlie Cleese being the head coach, Mike Diaz being the assistant coach, and the JV coach is Jen Trower. Chloe Sevilla is one of the keepers, along with Cassandra Jaggard. Number one is Dahlia Alonzo. She's a senior. Jory Hayes, a senior, uh, is number two. Number three, the junior, is Frida alvarez Paez. Number four, the senior, Alicia Dugan. Number five, the senior, Emma Hosteller. Number six, the senior, Kaylin Crotty. Number seven, the senior, Alyssa Rizzo. Number eight, the senior, Kinsey Ray. Number nine, the senior, is Alexia Orozco Sevilla. Number 10, the junior, is Alexia Dugan. Number 11, the senior, is Gracie Brownlow. Number 12, the senior, is Lauren Helton. She's a captain. Number 13, the junior, is Kimberly Jaggard. Number 14, the junior, is Michaela Grubelik. Number 17, the sophomore, is Franziska Simic. Number 18, the senior, is Sailor Alavetis. Number uh, 20, the senior, is Madison Valiat. Number 22, the senior, Olivia Montes. Number 77, the senior and leading scorer for the team is Angelina Espinal and captain. It's going to be 40-minute halves for you folks watching this one around the world. Happy to bring this one to you. From Steel Canyon High School out in Spring Valley, the East Park. This is the southeastern school, most school, of the Grossmont Hills League, which West Hills, Granite Hills, Helix, Grossmont, Steel Canyon, they're all a part of the Grossmont Hills League. And this one, before the bulk of the play gets started, two Grossmont Hills League's teams going at it tonight. As we get within days of the reason for the season, Christmas Day. Hopefully you have all your Christmas shopping done. If not, you're getting very close to finishing it up. And shift colors for all you sailors out there, past and present, we're underway. The foothillers going from right to left on your video screen, left to right, is the Cougars of Steel Canyon. And with the ball now, there was Smidgey. First time this season, 2019-2020, for the foothillers. Victoria Ford, the other senior, back to Smidgey. Up the middle. Cross midfield. Giovingo onto the soccer ball, being pressured. Touched there by Gonzalez. And now here's Mia Foster, the other senior, the captain, sending the ball forward for an early ball. Ashley Austin trying to get to it, but she won't. And had way too much pace on it. Ashley Austin, one of the Freshmen on this team. The other one, Bridget Wilson, playing up forward. Wing position. And last year, it was Sarah Lopez, the center forward. Leading scorer for the team. Here's Gonzalez. Sends it back to Sminge. Gonzalez. Matty Mayo on the soccer ball for the first time. Mayo trying to get a return pass, can't get it. But Austin will run onto it, but she was off sides. Just the starting of the match here at Steel Canyon High School, home of the Cougars. Went to the state championship a few years back, won it in football. And they still have notification of that if you are here at the stadium campus. They are building a set of stands or something even bigger onto the other side of the field. 
normally, and we have a player go down for Steel Canyon as they get their first attempt to try to do something in the attacking third, and she is holding her head, it looks like. And you never like to see that from any player, especially in a sensitive time now with uh, head injuries and the awareness of that. Steel Canyon able to beat the Foothillers in the first game last year that they played each other right here at Steel Canyon High School. Three to one. And there was a couple players that were nicked up for the Cougars in that match. Oliveris probably got the worst of it walking off the pitch. Jamie Ganello was hurt in that game as well for the Foothillers, the only Foothill player that Giovingo was down for a moment, but then she was able to get back up. Alonzo, the senior, is going to stay in the match. He was the player injured uh, slightly in that attempt up the field. They have a free kick out of it. So the Cougars with the first set piece of the match for either team. Let's see what they do with it. And it is hit high, but too high over Ladesia Toll and the Crossmar. So it'll be a goal kick for Grossmont. Grossmont giving up two, game, two goals, I should say, in the first half of that game, the very first one here last year, and then giving up one in the second half. They were able to get one by Sarah Lopez, but nothing more. Victoria Ford on the soccer ball now. Left-footed strike is sent forward that time by Simic, new player on the team. The Cougars treating back to get it is Kira, back to Tall. Tall sends it to the near side. Victoria puts it in space now for Mayo. Austin back to team captain. Now in the central, Cervantes. Lopez. Mayo. Being pressured by Jory Hayes. Now here's Espinal for the Cougars. Drops it back. Here's Jory Hayes. Sends it to the near side now. Dickenzie Ray. Sir Lopez, quick turn, Lopez from distance, and a shot and save. Sevilla making the save. Cross midfield now, Smidge slows it down, sends it off of uh, Gonzalez's cleat, and then forward up to uh, Giovingo. She didn't get it, but here's Austin now. Drops it back now for Lopez. And they tried to go a give and go, but uh, did not connect that time. In the fifth minute of the match, unofficially, the tandem refs have the official time. As the sun is setting on the other side of the hills here, out here in the west coast. The lights will be coming on. It's been a Cloudless day virtually. Very nice December day out here in Southern California. But that'll change in a matter of a couple of days. Maddie Mayo. And it is past the goal line. So the Foothillers will get to restart. Check out our social media pages. How do you do that? All you got to do is go to gksports.org. It's that simple. And then you go to the top of the page, and you'll see our Instagram page. Got a couple pictures that will be uploaded to that from this evening. And it is sent out of play by Crotty. Of course, join the conversation on Twitter. 
And, of course, Facebook page, that's the one where you get updates of Max Prep Sports. You get a, a, the college, junior college, Division One, Two, II and Three, major college stuff, and all the different sports, and across the pond, sports like cricket and that. So like us on Facebook as well. Mia Foster now plays it out to the wide for Giovingo, not able to get to it. And it is sent out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Cougars of Steel Canyon, the home team in the blue. Last team the Foothillers played in the blue nature. Scripps Ranch, team that we will be, that GK Sports will be putting that whole video on with the highlights in that pretty soon, within the next few days. Put Ellers fell behind in that match, but we're, well, we're able to come out with a 2 2 tie. And in the very last match they played here, Sarah Lopez, and a save is made. Again by Sevilla. They had to travel to the North County to play La Costa Canyon. Traffic, accidents created a scenario where they weren't able to, you know, warm up as long as they'd like to. Kind of a stressful situation. Played well in that match. That team speed was something that kind of created a little bit of a problem, but I'm sure they are happy they got Sminge back, kind of help out on some of that stuff in the back. We lost that one two to one. Won't play another match until the beginning of the year. Substitution, uh, Dugan comes into the match. She's a junior. As Gracie Brownlow, the senior, comes out. Mia Foster chasing after it. Austin touches it, but touches it in the wrong direction. And back up the field now, the Cougars. Sminge, forward. Play it out to the near side now for a service. Hayes up in the air. And that was Alonzo, actually, that uh, struck that one. Save made by Tall. Espinal. Is that in the area or is it out of the area? It's in the area. It'd be a penalty shot. Looks like it's going to be a free kick outside the area. Tough for me to see from my vantage point. A lot of the announcers are up high. You can see the whole field. Now I'm just barely above the field in the stands. Free kick. Pretty decent service, but Tall comes over. Made a very good save on this one and did the same thing in that winning goal that... Uh, Costa Canyon were able to put it in the back of the net. She made the initial save, and then it kind of trickled out of her hands, and they were able to uh, put it in the back of the net, but made some good saves in that match as well. Really warmed up to being the starting keeper for the first time on a varsity team for Grossman High. Here come the Cougars now, and another trip on the outside, and uh, is a card coming? And getting booked. Is Sminge. Sminge, first time playing with the Foothillers for this season and gets a yellow card. And in the rules of CIF, down here in the southern section, in the San Diego section, you got to come out when you get a card, bring the sub in, and then uh, you can bring her back in. Cecilia Rosas, the juniors, into the match. She has played well.
playing for the first time on the varsity. Here's the free kick now, their second of the match. Cougars. It's a line drive, and it goes up and over the crossbar. And it'll be a corner kick. Went off of Mia Foster, and that one was one that could have went into the back of the net. Unlucky for the Cougars that time. Didn't get the deflection into the back of the net. For the Foothillers, fortunate it didn't go into the back of the net. Here's the CK now. The bending ball now up in the air and not able to bring it down are the Cougars. Ford will not go out of play and it'll be a goal kick. So goal kick for Grossmont in this nil-nil affair out here at Steel Canyon High School. Temperature will continue to drop as the sun goes down. Let us know if you're watching this live stream out here in Spring Valley, California. Here is Matty Mayo being pressured. Dugan, Hayes plays it back. Helton intercepted by Rosas. Number that wasn't given us initially might have been a number change as number 16 on the Cougars did not get that so forgive us if we mentioned that player as another number so Cecilia Rosas throws it in for the Foothillers Gonzalez the header Isimic here's Sarah Lopez Austin Taps it forward, out to Lopez now. Lopez on the move, and it is sent out of play. Sailor Alvarez getting back to make the play. Alexa Gonzalez is coming out of the match. And Brianna Cooney is into the match. Corner kick now for the Foothillers. Line drive, they're really good at it. Sevilla getting her hand onto it. Sminch playing it out towards Lopez. Mayo, line drives it. Cooney plays it to the near side. Cervantes. And on the same pass, trying to put it in the back of the net with Gia Bingo, and she was just a little off target. Foothillers in the first game last year here, a little bit off target in that first half. But they were quickly down to Neal. And that player is not on the team anymore. Zeldin put in a couple of goals and found themselves down to Neal. But in this one, they are in this match as it's nil-nil. Even though they've gave up a couple of set pieces and the last one almost went in the back of the net. Mia Foster now to Austin, sending him out of play. Just missed the near post. Seventeenth minute of action. Goal kick now. For Steel Canyon High. Off a deflection from Espy now. Just going by at that time was Alonzo. Foothillers trying to continue forward. It's intercepted and back the other way 
or at least trying to, was Espinal, but she got pickpocketed that time by Foster. Foster sends it into the area, and retrieving it there was Helton. All the way up to Alonzo. Maddie Mayo runs onto it, but the intercept, center of the field. On the near side now, this is Kenzie Ray, and coming off her line nicely that time was the Deja Tall. Nice decision that time by Toll. And making some good decisions so far this season. Austin on to the near side. Himmick and this is shot at a save by Sevilla. Ashley Austin in a bid to try to give him the first goal of the match. The Sevilla sprawling out to her left to make the save. Here's Foster. Foster's pass is taken away at the midfielder. Maddie Mayo on the coverage from the back now, playing it out to Giovingo, and it is played out of play off of Sailor Alavetis, and it'll be a throw in. Substitution as it looks like Austin is coming out for a breather. <laughs> and that's Herrera coming up. Take her spot, a, lot, a tough shot and a save again. Two big saves by the keeper for the Cougars. That was a tough grass cutter by Mia Foster. Of course, this is synthetic turf, but you get the idea. Off of the bounce. Cougars. Jory Hayes now. Played against the Foothillers many matches and been successful over the last few years. Teammate from the back gets it up to Espinal, who's also been successful now. The niece of the cameraman today, Pablo. Angelina Espinal, she touches it to her teammate there. He had that number, a name for the number 16. Hopefully at halftime. She's getting a lot of touches in this match. The alternate number for the Foothillers, dropping it back, that was Cooney to Ford, and then out of Sminge. Kira. Plays it to Cooney, got pickpocketed that time, and now the Cougars trying to go upfield. That's me now. Good control of the soccer ball that time. She does it very well. Sends it in the area now. Tall, and it's going to go in the back of the net. A goal! Go, 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 I believe it was number one, and that is uh, Dahlia Alonzo. They're going to probably announce who it was on the field, but nevertheless, because it trickled around, the Foothillers again, to start off the season matches against the Cougars, are behind, 1-0. And is another player gonna be booked for the Foothillers? No. Guess he was just continuing to to uh, write who actually did score. But nevertheless, it is 1-0. Second copy will surely show you. And moving forward, we are going to have instant replays on our live stream. Don't have it yet, but look for it in 2020. <laughs> Victoria Ford. Foothillers have had a couple of opportunities 
to take the lead, just haven't been able to do so. Herrera won't get to it. Early ball, Sminch sends it out of play. So it'll be a throw in now for the home team, the Cougars here at home. Enjoying a one nil lead. Sminch played it in space, intercepted. Here's Crotty. Got it taken away by Dees, who just came into the match. Foster. Little physicality there, but still able to muscle it forward. Gets it to Maddie Mayo now. Mayo with a lot of speed. Maddie Mayo still on the soccer ball. Mayo now. Service now. Lopez puts it. Off the top of frame, was it across the line? And it doesn't look like it was. But a great athletic play by Sarah Lopez, and it just didn't go in the back of the net. And a nice run by Matty Mayo. But a little fortune that time for the Cougars, and they still lead 1-0. In about the 24th minute of the match now. They'll play 40 in each half, total of 80. Hurdy ball now. Giovingo on the run, just can't put it inside the far post. Giovingo hit that one hard, but uh, couldn't get it to dip down that time. So it is still 1-0. And a substitution for Steel Canyon as Madison Valia is going to come into the match, the senior. And a goal kick for the Cougars. Sminch plays it forward. Foster, remember Sminch playing for the first time this season with her teammates. Takes a little bit to get adjusted to each other. But a good time to start playing again with him in her senior season. Because the Foothillers are going to be playing a bevy of games to start off the year, the day after New Year's. Free kick now coming up for the Foothillers out of their own defensive half. Watch the track team, the boys track team getting prepared for the upcoming season. Maddie Mayo, track star for Grossmont. Made her soccer game even that much better. Here's Herrera, she's on side now. Montserrat, Montserrat now, and it is taken off her cleat, but it's going to be a corner kick. Not able to turn that time on a good defensive play by uh, Sailor Adaveras. Senior knowing that she can't let her turn. Sending it out of play. Chiavingo now with the corner. Foothiller's really good at that and off the top of the crossbar. That was Victoria Ford. Couldn't bring it down that time. In that last match against La Costa Canyon, they had three consecutive set-piece tries, corners, and not able to convert on either one of them. And that's unlike the Foothillers. If they get three tries at it, they're probably going to get you on one of them. Into the match now is uh, Olivia Montes. Montes is another senior out of these 15 seniors for the Cougars of uh, Steel Canyon. It'll be a throw in now for Steel Canyon out of their own defensive half. Enjoying a 1 0 lead to throw in now to Jory Hayes. Hayes plays it back. Helton, 
And it is knocked out of play by the Foothillers. And then the far side touchline will be a throw in now again. As the substitution is going to occur for Steel Canyon is now Kimberly Jagger is going to come into the match as junior. One of the lone juniors on this squad. Only six of them. And they carry one sophomore. And all the rest are seniors. Into the central for Espinal now. Cuts it back. Changed their direction. Wants to go back towards her defender, Helton. Helton, one of the captains. Sevilla. And it is out of play. Another substitution is going to occur. This time for the Foothillers, as Dees is going to come out of the match. Junior going to get a break. And Austin comes back in. Montes to midfield on the move with it was Dugan. And now here's Espinal now. Espinal against Austin. And it is touched out by Espinal, and that's unlike her. Usually has great control of the soccer ball. But Austin pressured her a little bit, was able to get the turnover. Espinal has it. Finds space away from Mia Foster, and then uh, the pass from the center defender up forward, but Austin has it. Or rather, Bree Crooney, I should say. The near side. Espinal back to Lauren Hilton. Intercepted now. Here's Sarah Lopez now. Lopez. And that's uh, Bridget Wilson wearing the new number, number four now. She was, remember, she was double zero before. Kind of swap numbers. Bridget Wilson and Chance York, as Chance York is now going to be double zero. Here's Montes, intercepted by Giovingo. Jennifer now, the junior, plays it out wide. Austin. He's playing back at a midfield spot right now, or just kind of drop back there. Giovingo, dispossessed, down the left flank. Sminge sends it back to Toll. Up to Central. Simic to the near side. To Alavetis. Alaveras plays it forward, but it's intercepted. Alaveras gets it again. Espinal was uh, kept from getting the soccer ball, and now the Foothillers from the back line able to get it to Foster, but her pass was intercepted. Espinal going to play it to the near side. Jaggert, early ball to the near side now for Vallet and can't get to it. So it'll be a goal kick now. Good little sequence that time started by Angelina Espinel. So the goal kick, Maddie Mayo is setting it up. No substitutions at the moment. Spinal gets back to it. Angelina now. Good step over. Changes their direction. Excellent at that. San Diego State. She's ticketed to go there and full ride scholarship. And I really love her expertise with the soccer ball. And got speed to boot. On the near side, it's out of play. They'll get a chance to see her next season. 
Here's a good throw in now for Victoria Ford. And the Foothillers. Ashley Austin's coming out of the match. Lexa Gonzalez is back into the match. Had a pretty good little rest. Lexa probably will finish out the rest of the half. Coming in for the uh, Cougars is Emma Hostetler, the senior. Bevy of players on the near side. They want to make sure they mark up, do the Cougars. It's going to be a throw in now for Steel Canyon. And it's one nil affair that they're enjoying the lead in on their home field out here in Spring Valley, California. Hopefully you're enjoying all the action as we get closer and closer to halftime. I'm Greg K. Porter along with Pablo Espinal. For GK Sports, we're at the game. Ball is out of play. It'll be a throw in now for the Cougars. Montes will throw it in. Push not called. Mia Foster now. Sarah Lopez. Nobody's there. She, she thought that Bridget Wilson was going to be in the space. Was not. Bridget new to the team this year. They will definitely link up better and better as time goes on. Sminge. Kira. Plays it up to Maddie Mayo. Mayo cuts it inside now. Maddie Mayo now plays it forward, but it's intercepted. The Mayo gets it back now. Looking for Gonzalez and had too much pace on it that time. So it'll be a throwing now out of their own defensive third. Team in blue and white. That's Steel Canyon. As the light's taking more and more of an effect here at the field. Intercepted by Mayo. She's got to go back now to try to get it again. And then drives it out of play. So they'll gain some more real estate down at left flank. Will the Cougars? For the throw in to Espinal. Espinal plays it in space, but it's intercepted by Smidgey. Now it's intercepted back. As smidgey has got to retreat back, and she strikes it out of play past the goal line. It'll be a corner kick. So the CK now coming up. It's been a while since they've had one, Steel Canyon. Now they have another one. Nearly scored on one of them. Angelina Espinal with the CK. Doesn't look like it's going to be a short kick. It's going to be a service into the box. But there must have been a foul on the play. Goal kick. Going down is Gia Bingo as she struck that soccer ball. Kind of hit hard in her side of the body, but she hops back up. Victoria Ford is kind of laboring. I don't know, maybe she might have got a hit on that, on that service. And the nicks and bumps are going to mount up that first week in January because a lot of soccer is going to be played in a short period of time. And it's going to be a matter of who comes out of that South Bay tournament. Played at Montgomery High School here in the South Bay. It's a classic tournament for college consideration. It's going to make the difference as that league play gets started right after that. Pretty much. Throw up field now. Jim Bingo not able to get to it. Victoria Ford will drop it back to Sminge. Kira now sends it forward to Giavingo. 
Foster, the give and go, back to Giovino. Jennifer now cuts it back to Mia. Mia now looking for Alexa Gonzalez, has it. Plays it back upfield to Mia. Foster now sends that ball down the uh, right flank and into the corner now. Gonzalez goes down, but it's not going to be, doesn't look like there's going to be a call on it, and it's going to be a goal kick. Substitution is going to occur as Coach Fernando Ramos wants to get a fresh player in. Going to take out his freshman, Bridget Wilson. And into the match now is uh, Mia Tillett for the first time, the sophomore. Listed as a midfielder, but she's playing up forward. Here's uh, Mia Foster now, and Foster, of a few bounces, be uh, able to handle it, no problem. Off of a bounce, back to Sminge from Cooney. Tall, didn't get a lot of it. Sminge sends it a little bit forward, but it's out of play, and it's a giveaway to the Cougars. Enjoying the 1-0 lead, Espinal. Foster, as they'll throw it in. Foot Hillers trying to make some late magic happen. Inside the two-minute mark. Partisans here at the stadium do not know how much time exactly is left. It's just the way it goes. Mia Foster with a free kick. Woodhillers. Running out of time to try to get one in the back of the net in the first half. And if they cannot, it will be another half where they were scoreless. Right here at Steel Canyon. Been a very tough place for them to play. In the central now. Just like it was at La Costa Canyon last week. Played twice there and have not been able to get a victory. Grass cutter, that one is going to go past the near post. Not a play. Up to central, and that is the end of the first half. So the score is 1-0. Steel Canyon leading at the end of the first half right here at their home stadium over Grossmont High School. Stick with us as there will be probably about a 10-minute uh, intermission on this live stream, and then we'll be back with the second half of action. But if you are paying attention to the second copy, that second half, the highlights with that first half, are going to begin right now. And bigger onto the other side of the field normally, and we have a player go down for Steel Canyon. Last year that they played each other right here at Steel Canyon High School. Three to one. And there was a couple players that were nicked up for the Cougars in that match. Free kick, pretty decent service, but Tall comes over. Made a very good save on this one. Cougars. It's a line drive, and it goes up and over. On the near side now, this is Kenzie Ray. And coming off her line nicely that time was the Deja Tall. Mimic, and this is... Shot at a save by Sevilla. And that's Herrera coming up. 
Take her spot, a, lo a tough shot, and a save again. It's me now, good control of the soccer ball that time. She does it very well. Sends it in the area now, tall, and it's gonna go in the back of the net, a goal! On the soccer ball, Mayo now, service now, Lopez puts it off the top of frame. Was it across the line, and it doesn't look like it was. Dolly Alonzo scored the goal in the first half for the Steel Canyon Cougars. And so that's your score, 1-0. The Cougars lead over the Foothillers. This should be a great match in the second half. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the second half of this match of two Grossmont Hills League foes. The Foothillers will be going from left to right on your video screen, and right to left is Steel Canyon. Take a look at the top ten in Division Two. The Cavers are in Division Two. Helix is 5-0-0. Mission Bay is 7-0. Martyr Day Catholic is 2-0-1. Their third. Mission Hills is fourth. They're 3-1-0. Escondido Charters 4-1-1. The um, fourth. Fifth is Mount Carmel, 5-1 and 3. San Diego is sixth. They're 4-2 two and 2. Seventh is Point Loma. They're 4-2 two and 2 also. Bonita is 2-1 and 2. Francis Parker is 3-2 two and 1. They're eighth. San Diego Academy is 2-3 two, and 2. They're ninth. And Olympian is 10th. They're 3-4 and 0. Oh. The rest of the uh, teams in Division 2 and the standings is Central. Of course, Grosswamp played them. Narrow victory, Patrick Henry, La Jolla, Sarah Christian, Oceanside, Fallbrook, and Sam Pasquale. Tonight, Bishops is playing San Diego, and Claremont, La Jolla. Mount Carmel is playing San Diego Academy. It's shift colors for all you sailors out there, past and present. Central is playing Calexico. Oceanside is playing Ramona. Olympian is playing Bonita Vista. Vista is playing Mount Carmel. And Central is playing Southwest EC. 1-0. Under the lights. The Foothillers and the Cougars. And the Central, Victoria Ford sends it over her head to try to get it out of their defensive third. Into the central now. Aguilera gets her first touch of the match. Sarah Lopez, Maddie Mayo now. Sends it right at the keeper and a save. <laughs> Sevilla played in the first half and playing in the second half is uh, Jaggard. Who played the entire match in that very first match between these two teams of last season right here at Steel Canyon High School. Foster, Lopez, plays it forward, intercepted by Jory Hayes, nicely done that time, and gets it over to her teammate. They get it started on a counterattack. Espinal now. Helton. Near side for Alonzo, who scored the goal now. Ball is out of play. It'll be a throw in now. <laughs> Kaylin Crotty will throw it in, the senior. Into the space, trying to get it that time was Brownlow. Couldn't get it, but here is Alonzo. Sends a ball down to Central, but Tall is able to make the save. Giovingo on the soccer ball. Foster 
Early ball now on the near side. Matty Mayo trying to run onto it. Does so and sends it off of the uh, defender, Simic. And so now it'll be a throw in for the Foothillers. Early moments of the second half. Greg K. Porter along with Pablo Espinal enjoying the action here. He's bringing you the live stream on a back side and not able to get anybody to run onto it. So it's a turnover, basically, as they say in basketball. Setting it up, Jaggert. Mia Foster controls it now. Tries to go forward. Slowed up a little bit. Then plays it out to Aguilera, who cuts it inside now. Lopez now darts in to get it, but gives it away to Espinal. In the back line, they control it for the Cougars as they go up forward. On the counter, Espinal plays it back. Jory Hayes to Espinal on the near side. Sending it forward is Alavetis. Intercepted. Angelina now runs onto it now. Plays it forward. But nicely done by Sminge. In tight spaces, Sminge able to make sure she gets a hold of that soccer ball. Really good defender. And that has been something that if they've been missing anything so far early in this season, it's Sminge. The throw in. Really showed up in that last game. Might have been a different result if they had Sminge. And I mentioned this before. Last season, whenever Sminge got back with the club, able to play. Of course, the times when she wasn't able to play when she was injured. Her team, not the same. They won the CIF of Division II last year. That's why they're in Division I this year. The section winners for Division I last year was this team in blue, Steel Canyon Cougars. Mentioned that on my site. And Smith getting forward now, and it played it into the back, and it's set out of play, and it's going to be a throw in. She'll do that from time to time and really put pressure on the opposing team when she gets forward. A la my niece is starting to do the same sort of thing in her senior season. Speed. Lopez now still trying to get to the soccer ball. Can't quite do it. Foster just missed it. And then now a shot by Giovingo and a save. Jaggard makes the save going down to her knees. Nicely done by Jaggard. Cut off that uh, far post. Down the right flank. Victoria Ford trying to link up. Could not do it. And so now the Cougars have it. Jory Hayes plays it back to the back line. Outside defender on the near side. Not able to link up that time with uh, Karate. And so it'll be a throw in for the Foothillers. But first the substitution is going to occur. As Mia Tillett is going to come out of the action. Cervantes throws it in from the near side. Now here's Alonzo now. Dalia Alonzo stops and starts. Alonzo still trying to go forward, but taken away by Foster now. That could be danger now and a shot, and it's missed. But was there a foul in the, in his space? There, that space was just outside the box that time, and it'll be a free kick. Thankfully for the Cougars, it was not inside the box. But nevertheless, this is a dangerous shot right outside the box. More dangerous set piece, if you will. We'll see what the Foothillers do with it. Teams have a lot of different things they do. Will it be Giovingo to take the shot? Will it be Foster to take the shot? 
As I mentioned before, the foothiller is very dangerous on set pieces. Will they zone mark? Will they man mark? What are they going to do here to try to defend it? The Cougars. Giovingo now plays it away for Foster, and it's intercepted and upfield. Nicely done by the Cougars. Smidge, though, intercepts it, plays it forward, and it's out of play, but it'll be a throw in by the Cougars. Somewhat of a momentum builder every time you're able to keep the foothillers from putting one in the back of the net on a set piece. Here's Mia Foster now. Ticketed to go to Cal State Fullerton. Mia Foster now still on the soccer ball. Really strong on the soccer ball. Lopez now trying to get back to it, but Espinel has it. Settles it down. Back to her teammate. Center defender. 50-50 ball. Played in space. Cervantes to the near side. Divingo runs onto it. Cuts it back now. Plays it to the central. Foster, but it in a giveaway. She was looking for Marie Cooney to be able to get to it and couldn't do it. Lopez will try to put pressure on the dribbler that time, and that dribbler was uh, Paez, and it turns out to be a throw-in for the Foothillers. Incorrect throw-in now, and that's a giveaway for the Foothillers. Or was there a substitution? Correction, uh, correction, there was a substitution that had occurred or was going to occur, and that's Giovingo coming off the pitch. And coming in now is Gonzalez. Thought his sign was an incorrect throw in there for a second. Misread him. The throw in to Foster. Able to get it to Gonzalez on the near side for the speedy Matty Mayo. Cuts it now towards uh, the keeper, and she's able to make the save. Nobody able to run to it first and try to redirect it. Cougars still leading 1-0. Trying to hold on to a 1-0 lead for a victory, unless they can add more to it. To the near side, and it goes out of play, and it's going to result in a foul against the Foothillers. So it's a free kick now for the Cougars in space. About 28 and a half minutes left to play in the match. Hope your day has gone great wherever you are in the world watching this live stream. Let us know if you are. GK Sports in YouTube, that's all you gotta do. Just put the letter G and then K and then sports. Throw it in the search of YouTube and that's where it's at. Early ball now, Victoria Ford trying to get to it and does so. Ford plays it out of play. Subscribe to us at GK Sports. You'll be able to see what we're doing. A lot of youth soccer, high school soccer, but then again, you may see us do other sports. We did do basketball last year. We did also do some uh, lacrosse, so you never know. And looking to do a football game next season. It may very well happen. One football game at least. With multiple cameras. Ball is out of play, but it is going to turn out to be a corner kick for the Foothillers. And for some reason, they don't realize they got a corner kick and Time is a wasting because it's a running clock. And when you're down one nil, you can't waste that time. It may come back to you towards the end when you really need it. <laughs> In a sense where you're still down. And it's a close game. Matty Mayo cannot keep it going forward, gave it away. But retrieving it is Bree Cooney now. Cooney plays it forward. Off the wing, Mayo can't run onto it. So now the Foothillers with two in the deep back. Able to send it down the left flank. Intercepted. Espinal tries to get to it. Cannot. Aguilera, and that's going to result in a foul. And maybe more. Gets a warning, and it's a yellow card. 
I assumed it probably was going to be a yellow card. But I have seen refs not do that type of thing. They should, but they don't. Saw uh, a recent match that we put on the site. And you can take a look at that one in the Nomads tournaments. There was so many fouls in that match. And there should have been cards, but they were not given. I've seen some of the high school games where it should have been cards, not given. So you never know. In the central. Player knocked down right outside the area. And a yellow card. Aspinall getting the yellow card and we saw her get one last year. Doesn't usually happen with her. Very solid player and extremely smart out there. Every once in a while, the course of his season is long. So now the Foothillers with a free kicking opportunity. Another pretty decent one here. Down 1-0. Aguilera has one as far as yellow cards are concerned for the Foothillers. Sminge has one and now Espinal for the Cougars. Victoria Ford taps it over to Foster. It's intercepted. Nicely done by the Cougars. Cervantes plays it forward now. Foster now eh, trying to get to it and not able to get to it that time was Hunter. It'll be a goal kick. Just a little bit too much pace on it for Olivia to run onto it. Twenty-three and a half minutes left to go in the match. Lots of good action happening in the last few minutes. With the Cougars getting the better of it because they have not allowed one into the back of the net. And towards the idea of wins and losses and draws, that's exactly what they want. Although the Foothillers have had most of the touches in this match. Victoria Ford now, nearly a handball, but it wasn't seen. Bree Cooney now plays it out wide to uh, Gonzalez. Giovingo now looking for Foster, I mean, uh, I should say Lopez, and Lopez did not get it. Cervantes now, but this is Alonzo. Going to try to test her speed. Plays it to the other side of the field, and Tall will allow it to go to where she can just send it out of play. Did not want to play around with it anymore because she knew she was outside of her box, and so she just struck it with her cleat and got it out of play, out of danger. So the Cougar is not able to link up that time on a pass across the field. Boy, they, that is a time when they wish they, they had Herndon, seen Herndon f score against the Foothillers in on this field. On that side of the field, that amazing speed she had for the Cougars. As I mentioned at the outset of the uh, program, Livia Zeldin and Herndon, Ashley Herndon just giving tremendous fits for the Foothillers in the years that we have been filming them. A mistake by Tall, and that one almost resulted in the back of the net. And Ladeja has to be very careful at this level. Players are much better. And they will be 
mindful of the types of things you do as a keeper and put it in their memory ranks throughout the rest of this match as well as the next couple of matches when these two teams play each other. In the central, Lopez was trying to get it. No handball called. Alonzo, but gave it away to Smidge, and Smidge is so good at this now. Kira Smidge now. Smidge now still going forward. Intercepted uh, Jory Hayes, staying with that play. Alonzo, but knifing in is uh, Foster, and they will call a foul against Mia Foster. Uh, Foster and Smidge trying to make something happen on the right defensive side into the midfield area. Alibetis up forward, Jory Hayes gets it pickpocketed, but getting back to it is Alonzo dropping it back. Jory Hayes now back with it. A lot of seniors, as I mentioned, on this Cougar team. So they know what to do with the soccer ball. And they know how to continue to apply pressure to you. Do the types of things that is needed out there on the pitch to be successful. Because they've had a lot of experience at it. Early ball. Smidge. Now, able to shield off the attacker, but then it is sent out of play by Cervantes. Every time it goes out of play, it's an advantage for the Cougars and the home team. Crotty throws it in. In some space now, Espinal, the dangerous one. She's their leading scorer now. She's gonna get this soccer ball and put it in the back of the net. Goal! Nope, nope, yep, and it was a goal. Checking with the linesman there, and he says she was on sides, and it is 2-0. And now they're going to have a confirmation to find out whether or not she was off sides. It's the thing about tandem refs. You don't have one on each side of the field. And it turns out to be a goal. Espinal able to get behind the defenders and put it into the back of the net. So Espinal and Dahlia Alonzo have the goals for the Foothillers. And now they find themselves in another situation here on this turf behind by two goals. Down to Neal. Now remember, they were down in their last match. LaCosta Canyon on the road, down by two goals, and they were able to cut it in half. Let's see what they do this time. Got a little time to play with. Foster, and she is knocked down, and let's see what the call is. It's going to be a goal kick. So goal kick now for the Cougars, enjoying a 2-0 lead. Greg K. Porter along with Pablo Espinal. And his niece just scored that goal and put it in the back of the net for the Steel Canyon Cougars to give them a 2-0 lead or 2-0 lead, as they say in soccer. She's the leading scorer for the Cougars and scores again from long distance. And this one is off target. Getting colder and colder out here at Steel Canyon High School. Out in the eastern part of the county. But it's been a beautiful day today, and December day. But the precipitation is going to come back before Christmas. Coming out and off the pitch is Alexia Dugan. Alicia Dugan is into the match. I believe that's her sister. She's a senior. 
Alexia Jr. Not her sister, a relative. The goal kick for the Cougars. Foot Oilers have been doing a lot of good territorial action towards getting something into the back of the net. They've had set pieces. A lot of good action, but they haven't put anything in the back of the net in this match yet. Gonzalez. Giovingo from distance, off target. But it was touched that time past the goal line by the Cougars, and it'll be a corner kick. So they're going to get another set piece. Giovingo wastes no time to get it over to the uh, corner kicking area. And you're down by two goals, no time to waste. 15 minutes left to go in the match. Givingo, it's intercepted. Put right back towards the bulk of the players, trying to advance upfield for the Cougars. The Foothillers still have possession, but then a giveaway now to Alonzo. Alonzo has scored the other goal outside of the goal you just saw by Espinal. Alonzo scored in the first half. Here comes Mia Foster on the intercept. Sarah Lopez running as fast as she can. She's a dangerous player and sends that ball off target. But she can cut that ball a little bit more accurate than that. Just didn't do it that time. Especially if she has space and has defenders still in her wake trying to catch up to her. 1v1 with a keeper. Dangerous player. Off the shoulder of Maddie Mayo, and they're going to call it a handball. Maddie thought that she would have got the benefit of the doubt that time, but did not. But you got to try it sometimes because you never know if they see it. Not that you're trying to cheat or anything, just sometimes they don't see it. As an athlete, you got to keep playing. Tall sends it upfield. Espinal quickly intercepts it for the Cougars. Espinal now plays it to Alonzo now. Looking for a striker down and send it out of play on the near side by Ford. Good quick action led by Angelina Espinal in conjunction with Dahlia Alonzo. Kaylin Crotty throws it in. In this edition of the Cougars, the Foothillers know what they're going to be dealing with. Win, lose, or draw in this match. Moving forward, they get to play it two more times. Sending it upfield. Jaggert. And out of play is going to be, it's going to be a throw in for the Foothillers. Charlie Cleves. It's great working with Charlie. He gives us a lot of good information and finding out that he's going to be at that tournament in the first few games had just missed on the near post side of the new year, 2020, in the new decade. The South Bay Tournament, the classic at Montgomery High School. That'll be the next action for the Foothillers and a lot of these teams in San Diego County. Coming into the match, Kenzie Ray for the Cougars, the senior. The senior laden squad. Intercepted by the Foothillers. Matty Mayo runs onto it. Matty Mayo wants to keep it in play, but instead she taps it off of Crotty, and it's a throw in now. In a good area for the Foothillers. Off of a bounce now. One by Jory Hayes, upfield. Cervantes with Alonzo on her back. Alonzo wins it now. Sent upfield now by Crotty. Getting to it nicely that time was Rosas. Playing it in some space, but Espinal steals it. 
And it's going to be a foul on Espinal. And she has to be careful. She's got that yellow card. Mia Foster. Try to get it to Giovingo now. Comes up. Knives into the space and steals it. Gives it over to Sarah Lopez now. Lopez, the dangerous one. Lopez now puts it into space. It'll go after it. Cuts it inside, but won't be able to get to the soccer ball. Shielded off nicely that time. Montes doing the job into space that time. But here's Lopez again. And it is going to be an offside. Montes, big play in the space. Keeping Sarah Lopez, who's gained a little height from last season. In her first trip here to the stadium here at uh, Steel Canyon High School last year. Scoring the lone goal for him. It has not scored tonight. Sarah Foster, I mean Sarah Lopez. Told myself I was not going to do that tonight. The two, the two are just such great players and they're so integral in what goes on out there. Here's Mia now. Mia Foster now sends one at the keeper, Jaggard, and she is able to make the save. Mia not able to get that ball in the air. She has done that from distance in her playing career at Grossmont. Did it against Granite Hills and it was a winning goal a couple of seasons ago. That's not done that tonight. We'll need to do that from distance or either try and get it closer and try and play a ball to her teammates. Sarah Lopez or any of the other midfielders that might be in the area. Or to Maddie Mayo out there on the wing. Giovingo. Alonzo now on the soccer ball. In the attacking third now. Alonzo still on the soccer ball. Knocked down. Will it be a PK? It goes past the goal line. Where did it happen? Just outside the box in the area. Very, very close. And Aspie now didn't like the call, felt it was inside. <laughs> Aspie now has to be careful again. As I said, she's got a yellow card. Just showing her desire to win this match. Be a leader out there and has done so tonight. Team leading 2 0. She's got the free kick. And has led them all season long. Their leading scorer trying to put another one in the back and knocked away by Tall. Tall came towards the ball, offered line, but Aspie now has it again. Bends it to Tall again, and Tall makes a save. Ladeja Toll now sends it upfield. In her mind, employing her teammates to make it happen, and they're down by two goals. Time running down in this match. Only about seven minutes left to play in it. They're going to have to score quickly if they want to get a draw out of this one. Probably getting a victory out of this one is out of the question. Now by two goals at this level especially against this program in Steel Canyon High School. Again, I mentioned earlier that they are defending Division I section champions of this San Diego section champions. Of the CIF, the California Interscholastic Federation Could be a very exciting finish. Don't go anywhere. Early ball now on a high bounce now. Mayo trying to get to it, overran it. Lopez trying to get to it, cannot. It is played upfield. And out of play off of the footy old player. And it'll be a throw in now for the Cougars. They are not in a hurry. 
enjoying the two-goal lead. They'll have a throw in and about ready to, if they can hold on, beat the Foothillers again at this field. And the Foothillers have not been able to beat them since we have filmed them on this field. They did it last year at Jack Mashon Stadium, but they have not been able to do it here for whatever reason. Obviously, talent has a great deal to do with that reason. Execution is another factor. And Charlie Cleaves does a great job with his program. Gets them playing good, solid competition from around the country and in California prior to the season, getting them ready. Playing the Gross Mine Hills League. And that'll be the next time these two teams play each other. It'll be in the Gross Mine Hills League. Karate's gonna throw it in, or will she? And yes, she is. Tandem ref just wanted her to move up. It's out of play, and now the Foothillers have no time to waste. They are going to throw it in from the defensive third. Trying to get it that time was Mia Foster. Could not now. Here's Kenzie Ray on the near side. Ray now in the corner, and it is knocked out of play. It'll be a corner kick now. Able to eat up more time and more territory away from their own goal are the Cougars. Espinal will take the CK. I want to mention uh, our sponsor. We get a chance. There's a bending ball now, trying to put it into the back of the net are the Cougars, and there was a foul on the play. And they're in the South Bay. And that is Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. Want to check them out. Affordable prices for the entire family. Root canals to teeth cleaning. Check out Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. Check them out online. DentalArtsofPalmAve.com. That's DentalArtsofPalmAve.com. Foothiller is up against it now with about three minutes left to play in the match. Early ball sent for Sarah Lopez. Can't get to it. Foster plays it forward. No call on the 50-50 ball. Gonzalez now in space to Foster, but Jory Hayes sends it out of play, not allowing a good solid pass. Maddie Mayo will give it to Cervantes. Throws it in to Mia. Chips it in the area. Mayo wins it. Sends it right at the keeper. And it's put too high by Giovingo. And it's going to be a goal kick. Foothillers asking for the fact that it was touched by one of the Cougars, but it one of the tandem refs is not buying it. And correction, I mentioned tandem refs. It is not even a tandem ref. It, this is the regular scenario. He's a center ref. I'm so used to the tandem refs, and obviously you've noticed, probably wondering, why has he been saying tandem refs? Well, pretty much every game it's tandem refs. Means just two refs, one on one side and one on the other. This is center ref and near a linesman on this side. And one on the other side. Now, now we have a handball. And this is normally the way you see it in soccer matches. And maybe a lot of the reason why there's been more fouls in this match and yellow cards. A lot of times they miss some of those types of plays. And in the last game here, there was a scenario like that a couple of times. But that was last season. Jennifer Giovingo trying to at least keep the shutout from happening. 
Jibingo hits a good one and just missed it. Foothillers are not a team that usually gets shut out, and they are looking at that scenario right now. But nevertheless, if even if that happens, they have had themselves a fabulous 2019 as a calendar year, and they're going to try to start out the new decade with the same mindset. If not, the way they ended this one. But this is not unlike the way it was last year when they had four straight victories and then they had four straight losses. But then they got it going and they went something like eight, two and one the rest of the way in one section. Will that be the case this time? Well, of course, they're in section one. So, or I should say division one. So it's going to be a different deal. Going to be a little harder. Giovingo is down. Getting us slowly. Very little time left in this match. Talking about maybe within the last 30 seconds or so. The double whistle will be blown. Drop kick, sent out of play. That'll be a throw in now for the Cougars. Mia Foster puts it down and that is the end of the match. So the Cougar is able to beat the Foothillers again at home. For the, since we've been doing them, the fourth consecutive time. And the Foothillers running into two juggernauts in these last two games. But uh, again, as I mentioned, their season is one that they are still above 500. And they are still a team that is very much going to be set up for a pretty doggone good season. But so will Still Canyon, who's played some tough competition as well. We hope that you enjoyed all of the action tonight on a Thursday night out here in Southern California, the Spring Valley of San Diego section CIF action of girls varsity soccer. Greg K. Porter along with Pablo Espinal bringing you the live stream, the sights and sounds. Go to our Facebook page. Go to our Instagram page. Go to our Twitter page. How do you do that? Just go to gksports.org. That's all you got to do. And in the top portion of gksports.org, the website, you will see all the icons, the links, and just click on them, and you can subscribe, like us, uh, what have you. The two goals scored in this match by... Dahlia Alonzo and the niece of Pablo, and that is a fabulous young lady, and 77, and that's Angelita Espinal. So I want to say Merry Christmas to you all out there. This is the last live stream or broadcast until the day after New Year. So have a very safe holiday as well, the safe travels. And I've got a big one tomorrow myself, and then I'm uh, gonna stay in San Diego for the holidays. And get ready for the upcoming season. Should be a lot of good stuff. For all of you out there listening and watching as well as Caber family, we thank you for jumping on board here in 2019, the end of it, and we can't wait to see what happens with you in 2020. For Pablo Espinal again, I'm Greg K. Porter saying take care of yourself, God bless, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So long. Final score, 2-0, Steel Canyon over Grossmont High.
fans or something even bigger onto the other side of the field normally and we have a player go down for Steel Canyon last year that they played each other right here at Steel Canyon High School three to one and there was a couple players that were nicked up for the Cougars in that match free kick pretty decent service but tall comes over made a very good save on this one Cougars the line drive and it goes up and over on the near side now this is Kenzie Ray and coming off her line nicely that time was the Deja Tall Mimic and this is shot at a save by Sevilla. And that's Herrera coming up. Take her spot, a, a tough shot at a save again. And that's Herrera coming up. Take her spot, a, a tough shot at a save again. It's me now, good. Control of the soccer ball that time. She does it very well. Sends it in the area now. Tall. And it's going to go in the back of the net. A goal. Go, go. On the soccer ball. Mayo now. Service now. Lopez puts it off the top of frame. Was it across the line? And it doesn't look like it was. Sarah Lopez. Maddie Mayo now. Sends it right at the keeper. And a save. Their leading scorer trying to put another one in the back and knocked away by Tall. Tall came towards the ball, offered line, but Aspie now has it again. Bends it to Tall again, and Tall makes a save. Exciting finish. Don't go anywhere. Early ball now on a high bounce now. Mayo trying to get to it, overran it. Lopez trying to get to it, cannot. It is played upfield. Mayo wins it, sends it right at the keeper. And it's put too high by Giovingo.